welcome to PlayStation Access. My name is Nathan. I'm here with Dave. Hello. Dave, this is my really quick look at five things you need to know about extinction. I've been looking forward to this. Yeah. And this is... Um, look this at the side of that guy. Well, yeah, this is... Uh, well, I, look, number one is giants, man. Okay. Right. We're, I'm we're glad number one's giants. We're going to be looking um, at giants for uh, a little bit. So basically... This game kind of came out of nowhere, was revealed earlier on this year, saw a big trailer at E3, and then I got the chance to, to play it. They came over um, to our office, um, so some of this gameplay is me playing and some of it isn't, uh, and it's very, very much Giants based. I'm getting that, yeah. A as you can see, you know, you and I played um, uh, Attack on Titan uh, and were very confused by that one, E3, because we had no previous knowledge of it. Yes. This is like that in some ways. Uh, Except they're wearing trousers. And obviously so. the kind of, yeah, and obviously the kind of Japanese aesthetic has, is not present here. This is kind of much more of a European troll ogre aesthetic. I think they might be called ogres, actually, these giants. Um, I'm just wanting to get into the idea that there's like a range of them. Um, and you do attack them, and this is going Ooh. to bring up... Oh my god! I know! <laughs> point number two! <laughs> just in. We're going to just take off another limb, I think. Uh, and then we're going to go for point number two. Yeah, look, your arms off. What are you going to do oh now? Oh my god! You basically, yeah, you dismember them gradually, which we're going to have more on very shortly, um, because this is number two. This is the combat of the game. Um, and it's kind of broken down into uh, when you're fighting these kind of little minions, um, it's much more of a kind of a, it's very slick uh, action kind of uh, combat, um, fluid combos which you can break up with uh, jumps and um, you know if you're kind of thinking along the lines of all the kind of big strong action platformers that have been on, um, not action platforms, action adventure kind of games, yeah. you know, God of War, DMC, I'm not saying it's going to be, I mean those are right at the top, you yeah. know, um, but then it's also got this really singular mechanic um, of attacking the Ravani, the giants, where you have to have what's called um, a rune strike. You see the bar, uh, the bottom right hand side of your um, uh, of your kind of lower right like UI business. Um, that is your rune energy, uh, and a rune strike will just will cut off the limbs. Um, but you will also there is a kind of a puzzling element to the combat, and the combat is also bound up very much in your movement. Um, because as you can see you're kind of scaling things and traversing the world in a very kind of, again another kind of fluid um, way very very quick and sprightly um, and so different giants will have different strengths and weaknesses their armor will stop you from just hacking limbs off um, you will have to avoid you know they'll have different behaviors like uh, I think most of them kind of hit you off the back and you have to jump off and then like yeah you kind of have to jump back before you can decapitate them like this that's how you kill them Dave so not unlike Shadow of the Colossus in as much as they each each ogre each giant is a, is a puzzle to be solved yeah although I guess once you've figured out the basics I think there's a few types and then some variations and once you figure them out like this guy has got this bone armor um, and you can't attack that armor while the flames are coming out of it just it's impervious right. um, and this guy has got this uh, uh, metal armor with uh, little padlocks on it uh, and you have to target those individually so then it's like the arm, right, yeah. the, their legs have just got more hit points but I believe there are other variations that I've not seen because uh, this was only kind of a two level demo um, that I was showing so this was just to kind of um, give us a you know a sneak uh, an impression an idea of how it goes um, staying on top is much harder than it looks and also aiming um, is much harder than it looks as well and then it's the old L2 yeah, to give I, them a good I can see that that's how you solve the problem. The ultimate solution is to cut off the head. Um, and number three, Dave, is that movement which I mentioned, and really the, the game systems are all bound up together. Um, because the giants are the things that you do the combat on, and the combat is very much based on this movement system, which uh, this is um, just a kind of a demonstration from uh, one of the guys who uh, is producing the game, um, and he's just showing me, you know, you can jump away from the wall. That's actually using a combat strike, um, as a way of pushing yourself further, so that was like a big upwards uh, sword attack, which pushes you. It can be st strung together with your other traversal mechanics in order to extend your range. Got you. Um, yeah, so you get the idea. It's very kind of vertical at and horizontal, but you know that you can get up on top of the buildings and then move between them. Um, and it didn't really feel like anything I'd played before. Um, I'm not sure I totally mastered it um, before I. Uh, handed the controls back. You can see every now and again a little reticule pops up. Certain points on the map can be used um, with your whip and you can pull yourself to them. There is a, a wall run, there's a dash through the air and then when you mix that together with your um, you know that uh, moves like the using your combat strike to extend your range 
then suddenly you have, you know, there's two or three different ways to extend your um, maneuverability. Uh, and it becomes a very kind of in-depth little system that they've got going on. It's very stylish. It's very fluid and well, it's just very impressive, really. It looks a lot of fun. Are the, uh, uh, do you know if any of these abilities, your sort of traversal abilities, are things that you can level up? Can you? I or? have no conception. Well, that's fine. I don't know. I thought I'd ask. But I, what I really like is um, this section here is... He was showing me the man who played the game for me and whose name I've terribly forgotten. Just how you, you know, not the floor is lava. You know, he's just yeah. like all the different ways that you can extend it using the whip and the dash. Um, and then, ta da, I'm going to go and fight a giant. Yeah. I thought he was really, really good. That's cool. We're actually, we might see a little bit of repeated footage here, Dave, um, because I wanted to show, and I don't have much of it. This is number four, it's the world. Which is just so destructive. Yeah, big time. Uh, I noticed that already. And basically, the giants come in. This is going to be, again, I said every point is related. This is going to be related very strongly to point number five in a second. But basically, you can see the health up there in the top right. That's the city's health. Oh, dear. So you, and that's kind of like a counter. Once the giants, the Ravani, uh, start attacking a city, and there can be more than one of them, and they're, you know, you're having to deal with different kind of uh, combat objectives in, in scaling them and taking them down. Um, if they they are going to be the whole time mashing up splintering houses, just making everything dead. Um, and I take it you're you're obviously trying to protect the city, so zero percent would be a bad percent. Exactly. Look, and now I'm dead. Oh um, dear. But Dave, it's funny you should say that about zero percent because that is definitely going to happen with every city. Because what it's been stressed to me that this isn't a game that you win. This war, they're unstoppable. Right. So what you're doing instead is activating these portals and you're saving the civilians. This man doesn't understand what's happening. but he <laughs> I don't. I know how he feels, yeah. But he, he will understand. Um, so we're sending him away. So really, you're kind of like, it's like a rear guard action. These cities are all going to be trashed. Right. And it's your job. You have objectives on each level, I think. It's your job. Uh, there is some suggestion that the story is going to become more complicated than this. Um, and that is for another time. You know, when you ask the, the right question in a game demo and they're like, we're not talking about that right now, but yeah, sure. Yeah. That's interesting that you've mentioned that. Um, so, but for now, the line is very much, you are fighting a rear guard action, saving civilians and just defending the cities for as long as possible um, as you, you are a sentinel, you know, last right. defender of mankind. Okay. But that things are basically in a bad way and there's not much you can do about it. So well, that's interesting. That's a very interesting take it's on, quite, on things. Yeah, quite a sad take. I've got, I've got, obviously, I was enjoying sending people through the portal. I have put in a load of footage yeah. of me saving civilians and I like the... Um, but take the, me, Crystal. The last thing I'm showing is just uh, one of these giants really just going to town and you, you can see, I th I'm not sure that we quite catch it at the end uh, because we stopped capturing. Um, but uh, in going back through the footage, this is as low as I think I saw. Look, he starts, this oh. is, yeah, um, he starts saying, this, this, that's you. The city is falling. Oh no. He knows it's, it's not very good. Uh, that guy's bone arm was very difficult to break. So he killed me. So look, that's our look at ex Extinction, which is basically a sort of um, loads of free movement, exciting game about killing giants, which you should look out for more in the future. And if you subscribe, you might even find that on PlayStation.